And after last night, it really feels like they finally got their mojo back. Whenever we talked, uh, or, or, or uh, whenever I got to talk with Jamie Reedy last night after the game, she was talking about how like changing up the practices, it's really sort of changed the attitude and the or, or and the mentality within this team. And it definitely seemed to have an effect last night. We'll see if it has another effect here as Reedy's first shot goes over the top of the backboard. No good. And that one player was, uh, what is it? Um, Yadnelli Molina. Gets it to Barrow. Amaya Barrow with a nice pass. It's put up and it goes in a 3-2 game as Kira Stokes, 5'11 sophomore out of Shreveport, Louisiana. The rebound battle. They've been kind of at a deficit all season long as Robbins shoots it from the corner. Maggie Robbins doesn't get a lot of points, but when she does, she can make some fantastic plays like that. Find themselves in Davis going in. Shot up from Stokes. Up to Napoli, now up to Reedy. Back to Napoli. Napoli will take an open three every day of the week, and she gets it like she usually does. And now back to Robbins. In the paint is Bailey Timmons. It's easy as that, and Tigers break double digits. It's 11 to four. And now the pass in to King to Greenwood. And that'll be a bucket and a free throw on the way, 13 to four went to Vegas after Christmas and she has slowly and or so, slowly but surely been increasing her role Trying on the find centenary player able to get it to Stokes Stokes takes it herself and she puts it in so 20 to 8 Tigers will head back down the court who are left now gives it up to Minter Minter trying to get it in to Jalen Martin run over to O'Rourke fancy passes by the Tigers ends up with a bucket on the board 23 to 8 no and other youth on this Tiger squad wanting to push even further in. Napoli from three, she gets it. So 26 to eight. He has really developed into one of the three-point shooters, I, or, or I would argue the three-point shooter. So that is a fantastic physical down low play by Elaine King. But Centenary down by 20, quick three is put up and put in. Good job by Madison Davis, sinking the first three of the night for the ladies. Spots of some sort. Elaine King passes it over to Jamie Reedy. They leave her too open, and she scores. You can't leave her open. She's proven that time and time and time again. Scoring Tiger. last night with 16 points, and she hits another three right there. That's a nice little layup and in there for the ladies on the court. It is very difficult to game plan against them both. Reedy puts it up, gets her own rebound, and puts it back up and in. Her press in effect yet again. Driving it in, puts it up, and puts it in. And number four to Nigel Plummer, sophomore out of Kinder, Louisiana. Court when you play against Trinity. 15 seconds left on the clock. Three is taken, and three is good. Snuck over the rim. Great three there by Madison Davis. Gives it up to Reedy. Reedy drives it in. He puts it up, and another good bucket from Jamie Reedy. And tips off at three. Uh, they they won their last seconds left on the shot clock. Robbins will do it herself. And one of the captains on the court is certainly Maggie Robbins. She gets the bucket. 37 to 23. And She's the backs out. Nice pass from Napoli to Sky O'Rourke, who puts it in for the easy lay. But trying to put up some points. And the drive in from the elbow. That will be good. Kissed it off the, gla the glass. Did Mallory Duggerty out so in the paint. Gets it over to Bailey Timmons. Timmons up and in. Easy score for the Tigers. They go up by 13. I think it kind of surprised both me and you whenever we were looking back at that first half of performance, but tournament and Coach Hill essentially said, okay guys, uh, I'm gonna go over uh, to a local middle school uh, with all the players on the team. And it just goes to show how tight of a unit this is, being able to accept somebody so early on and being so open to a new face on this team. Up to Natalie Greenwood, smooth moves. Josie Napoli with the three, and she sinks it. 49 to 38. Just when you might think Centenary is going to catch up, the Tigers pull away just a little bit more. But can't quite get it. A long touchdown pass is good. Touchdown for Jamie Reedy as she gets the bucket there. 
51 to 38 now. Tigers break the half century mark coming in favor of the Tigers. And a great response from Amaya Barrow. He runs so as a kind of thank you very much as Robbins goes down and gets some points herself. Mentor gets into Greenwood. Greenwood from the top of the key. She sinks it. A little kiss off the glass. Great shot from Natalie Greenwood, the transfer from Division One. Set her <laughs> career high as a Tiger in terms of points in a game with eight against Shriners. That's Josie Napoli with a fantastic little play down low. Nap and a little pass to Stokes. And just a beautiful shot from Stokes off of a beautiful pass. Gets them some nice points, 58 to 44. Beautiful little floater there by Stokes as Robbins drives down, puts it up and in. Fantastic little physical play down low by Maggie Robbins. A nifty little sidearm pass there. Shot is up from outside and it is good. Tanija Plummer, sophomore out of Kinder, Louisiana, getting a big three. The offensive Her board, Robbins tries it herself and she gets the points and draws the foul. O'Rourke who got that ball. Back out to Robbins, back down to O'Rourke, and Sky O'Rourke, the little passing it back and forth, you take it, I take it, hot potato. Sky O'Rourke, another offensive board, gets it into Natalie Greenwood, easy points for the six foot three sophomore. On the floor, yet again, her shot doesn't go. Martin gets the put back points, no shot clock now, Centenary, we'll see who she finds on the inbounds. Trying to get it on the inside and a successful play there. Amaya Barrow taking the inbounds pass and putting it in for points. Only two teams that are playing at the moment as Napoli takes a deep three. What an incredible shot by Josie Napoli. That was a perfect shot there by Josie Napoli. Now shot up from the corner. Mallory Duggerty responds in kind with another big three. I take it, but just going back to the SCAC a little bit as Napoli, a splash through the middle of the net. Incredible I night so far for Josie Napoli, the junior who transferred in last season. Her of fifth course. foul. Still two players in foul trouble for a Trinity. And it was actually both of the players involved in that last play. Natalie Greenwood, a fantastic play down low. Trinity has kind of refound their mojo that they lost during the holiday break. Natalie Greenwood, yet again, a fantastic play down low. Let's see Shat if they get the final shot off, they will take that one. And a nice three from Layla Powell, 88 to 60 now. So Kylie Minter and the Tigers will just run the clock out. And they escort the ladies out of the building, 88 to 60.